All right, what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel so today's video is a quick video for you guys I'm gonna show you what I use to um, fertilize the trees in my yard right so you see all the trees here I use this fertilizer here it's an all-purpose fertilizer for trees and through trees all kind of thing 10 10 10 all-purpose fertilizer right uh, I'm gonna go over now to the um, this cherry tree over here. Alright. So I cut the grass, so I'm gonna choke it up a little bit. I'm gonna go around on both sides and I'm gonna show you guys the. Um, Give you guys a look at the monkey apple tree this this is why the making this video to show you guys mostly the monkey apple tree so, uh, so you don't want to put a lot so you don't want to burn it all right so that's good there now so now gonna go down straight to the monkey apple tree I'm gonna show you guys over here I have to put mole on all these trees also right so I'm gonna show you all this tree all the trees in the yard so I'm just gonna run go through I'm gonna walk all the way down here you now I'm gonna show you still at the lake and the backyard you know if you guys was ever wondering how it looked down there I'm gonna show you guys today so this track here I make this track with my um my slasher my weeder weeder slasher okay so I can walk all the way down to the lake trim with all this here so I can walk and I plant the monkey apple tree all the way at the bottom here because it needs plenty water right so there's a monkey apple tree over there right I'm gonna show you guys here now the lake over here so this is the lake here I have to go in here one day I went in two times already to catch Hassa there is Hassa here I know that but I have to go in back we got the water drop a lot all here used to have water but now it drop a lot so this is the lake in the back of the house They have Hassa, Tilapia inside. And bass, boat, catching bass and stuff, right? So, let's go. Alright. So now, that's the view going up to the house over there. And zoom in on the house. So that's usually I'm up there swimming, doing something. But today I'm all the way down here. Alright, so giving you guys a look here at this monkey apple tree I plant months ago. Very long time ago. Alright. So we have here now. So I plant them, they were much smaller, they're growing nicely. You can see here. Two monkey apple tree. So uh I'm gonna mold them up a little bit.
I want to um, create a little like one so that when the water can fall on it, it goes on the root, right? So I'll do the same thing with this one. And this is a 22 quad last by the way, in case 22 quad last guy in a style quad last right there. Alright, that's looking good there. Can't put too much, right? To burn it, just gotta put a little bit. So when the water falls under the rain, it's gonna go down nicely. So we don't know that uh, we can go there. So that's it there. Monkey apple tree. Alright, so let's finish that there. I'm gonna go back up now and do some more of the um, all the fruit trees all the way up there. So let's go. Give you guys. Finish fertilizing all the plants there on the lower side. It's a long track walk up, you know. So, this is the lower part of the backyard, right? All the bushes. So I get um get the mango tree here. So you can't put too much, right? Remember that. Put too much, you can burn it. This is a jamon tree. Alright, so I'm gonna finish up all the other trees now. Over here, over here, over there. So basically that's what I use to fertilize all the plants, trees in the yard. I just want to show you guys a 10 10 10 all purpose fertilizer, alright? Just a little. Alright, guys, so a couple days ago, you see, I fertilizing the plants with the fertilizer I use. Um, so today, I'm gonna be picking some of the um, the same pepper and get the lime ready for pick. So I'm gonna pick that, show you guys a little bit of that, and show you how big the guava is growing, growing a little bit more big, alright? So, so now I already picked the same, you know. Right, get a nice bowl of same here from this same tree right here. It look like you finished bearing. It look like you're dying now. 
that's the same we're gonna cook that same same curry all right so now I'm gonna show you guys the um, the lime ready to be picked all right so let's go pick the lime and the peppers give you guys a look of that all right so see here now the lime tree over here So we get four lime on it. You know. Alright. So you got it gotta ripe a little bit more but there's a second picking for the lime tree it's a little grafted tree now we're gonna go see the um, peppers get some nice weary weary pepper here and then we're gonna make weary weary pepper sauce if we get enough pepper though maybe we gotta buy some I don't know let me grab grab my other bowl here now um, so when when I was um, fertilizing the pepper tree, the peppers was green on it, right? So now you have some nice peppers on it. Let's see here, you have some nice red ones. So I'm gonna pick out all the red red one, leave all the green one. This pepper tree here is bare all year round for some reason. So this one down there, so now this one. Some nice peppers here. Look how much up on this tree here. So all you gotta do is you gotta freeze these, keep them, you know, when you cook curry and stuff. You put them in. Alright. This will be nice. This one have a lot of peppers on it. Alright, so I'm not gonna video picking all the peppers here. I'm just gonna pick it and show you guys how much we have when I'm finished picking it. Alright. Alright, so I finished picking the pepper. You got a nice bowl of pepper here. As you can see the tree here. Pick out all from the tree. I'm gonna give you guys a little look at this guava here now. If I can find the guava tree. And the guava on the tree actually. So. Oh yeah, look at the guava here. See the guava right there getting big. And then there's another guava. But I can't find it. Where is it? Um, so there's two guava. Can't find one of them. I don't know where it is. Okay. Don't know where it is. I also want to show you guys here. Now look at this. So I picked up about 10 squash on this tree already, right? And we get more squash here. We get more squash here. And there's some little ones over there. 
So the squash doing good. Also, I'll show you guys something here. We did some work in the yard, right? And we put up a fence. Normally, when I show this side of the house, this is the neighbor side here. So this is where all the papaya tree is here. But we put up this fence, so it's blocked in now, right? Yeah, so now this is the front of the house over the fence right there. And look how big the papayas are getting. Right? And this one here, I want to show you. Almost ready to be picked. So some big, big papaya right there. <coughs> so, uh, quick video of how I fertilize my plants, what I use. And then this morning when I wake up, I had to pick some of this stuff so I'll show you guys. Picking it and show you guys. That's the end of the video. Another backyard adventure. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.